Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to do a little video on what I am packing in my hospital bag and my diaper bag for when I go into labor. And I am currently only 26 weeks pregnant, so I'm doing this early, but I have some off time, some downtime right now because I just got off bed rest and I've been told to take it easy. So I figured this would be a perfect time before um, baby comes to just pack all my bags and film this video because I do have a couple travel trips before the baby and I just wanna make sure I'm prepared before it gets it's a little crazier. So I am going to show you guys what is in my hospital bag and what is in the baby bag. So if you're interested in watching this, stay tuned. Okay, to start off, I have this as my hospital bag. It's the brand Azaria and it is just like a little weekender tote bag type thing. I've had this for a little bit and I love it. So I'm going to be packing this for myself and I'm just gonna go through what I pulled as I pack it and show you guys. Okay, so first item I'm gonna put in here is a pair of slippers. These are just the brand Rachel Roy. I got them for my baby shower and I like them because they have a hard bottom. So it's not like they're gonna be like sliding all around if I do just wear these out of the hospital room. Um, they have that hard back. So they're comfy and useful. So I'm gonna put those in there. And then I have this nightgown. This I got from my baby shower as well. And this just looked really comfortable because you always want like loose fitted clothing and also darker clothing just cause there's blood and fluids. And that just looked really comfortable. So I'm gonna pack that as well. And then I also have a pair of pajamas from Cozy Earth. They recently had a warehouse sale and I just stocked up on so many things like their sheets, which are the best, and then also some of their pajamas and loungewear. So I grabbed these because I was like, these will look, or these look amazing for the hospital. And Cozy Earth has like the most amazing fabric. It's just so soft. So I got the matching set. So I have two pairs of PJs. And then I also have a pair of Skims that I thought would be comfortable. So when I ordered these, I did size up just because I knew I wanted to wear these in maternity and uh, possibly the hospital. So they are the rib leggings. So I have these just in black, like I said, dark colors are your best friend in the hospital. And then I have just like a little matching tank top that goes with it. But these leggings go up really high, so basically it's gonna be like a little bra because I'm obviously gonna have my belly and all that out. But I don't like having tight things around my belly afterwards, um, unless it's like a belly band or something to keep things in. But I figured this would just be comfortable if I wanna wear it. And then I also got this robe from Caden Lane. That's where I got a lot of her customized name stuff. I'll put them in the description box below because they have the cutest things. So it's like a mauve waffle knit robe and it has like an open front that buttons and ties. So this is good for nursing and it's not too heavy or too hot, but it's also just like a nice material. And I got Jovi a matching little onesie for, uh, with this so we can take cute little matching photos. So that is my robe that I'm going to be taking. And then I have three pairs of fuzzy socks. I got these from my baby shower as well. And fuzzy socks are a must in the hospital. You just wanna be as cozy as possible. So I'm gonna throw these in. And then I have two pairs of underwear that are like the ultimate granny panties, but they're just like amazing for postpartum especially. I had these with Jagger last time and I loved them. So I have two pairs of those that I'm gonna put in. And then I also have two nursing bras that I'm throwing in. Um, these are from Bodily and they are so comfortable. I've worn one of them actually a few times already and they unhook so you can nurse easily. And I love these, they're so, so, so comfortable. So I'm gonna bring two of those nursing bras. Okay, and then I'm also gonna bring some adult diapers. These are definitely a must. I will say from my experience last time at least, the hospital has so many things that you're gonna need. So like aftercare for both you and the baby. So I don't feel like I need to go crazy, but I am bringing things just in case. It's better to be safe than sorry, but I know that they will have all this for me. Um, so I just have like five adult diapers just in case. And then I'm bringing a bunch of nipple pads to put in my shirt in case I start lactating and it gets messy. And then also just like a few regular pads to put in my underwear if I don't wear a diaper, um, just to be safe. I may not use them, but we'll see. I also have nipple cream. That is a must for any new mom. 
And then I'm also packing a charger and a portable charger. Um, you know, you're in labor for a long time usually, so just making sure my phone has battery and it can be plugged in. I'm also bringing AirPods just in case I'm in labor for a while and I want to listen to a podcast or music that's not out loud or anything. Um, but then the portable charger is going to be nice. So if Jordan needs something um, or if the phone's charging but I want to have it in my hand, I can charge it. So this just sticks on the back of the phone, which is really nice. And then I'm also bringing a book. My mom got me this for my baby shower. It's Colleen Hoover, November 9. Um, everyone talks about her books. And I've never read them and I have all of them. So I figured if I have a little downtime during labor, last time I did, um, that would be good to read. So I'm gonna bring that just in case. Okay, and then I also have this little matching um, cosmetic bag that goes with this bigger bag. And I'm gonna show you guys what I packed in here. So I have a toothbrush and two makeup brushes, a hairbrush, the Jay-Z one, it's a must. And then I do have just a travel size um, pack of makeup remover wipes. And then I have just a few makeup items. I may not even wear makeup, who knows, but just in case we end up getting some photos, it's just better to have it on hand, although it probably will be the last thing on my mind. Um, but I just packed a little um, bronzer blush duo that has a mirror so I can use that. And then just a little foundation, a beauty blender, those two makeup brushes I had and then I have these little things which I thought would just be super helpful so this is just a contour stick from Anastasia Beverly Hills and then I also have a blush stick from nude sticks and those are so nice for on the go because you just literally like put them on it's not like you need a bunch of stuff um, a little mascara a brow pen and a little lip gloss from Fenty Beauty and then I also have just a concealer and then I have Burt's Bees Chapstick and the Road Lip Treatment. I love this stuff. It keeps your lips so moisturized. And then I also have a little travel size body wash and a travel size deodorant, a travel size um, little like Victoria's Secret perfume spray, a travel size dry shampoo, um, little tissues and Q-tips, a travel size toothpaste, travel size body lotion, a little hair clip just in case. And then I also have some rubber bands and bobby pins in here as well. And that is just gonna be my little cosmetics bag in case I need anything. So um, I just kind of, so I travel a lot for work and so I always have a travel bag packed with makeup, um, toiletries, things like that. So if on my trips, I don't have to use my daily stuff. I just grab that bag and put it in my suitcase. So I have a bunch of like extra travel size stuff to refill it. And so I just put some of that in here. So I'm just gonna have it packed and ready to go. And that's nice. Cause then if I like go into labor in the middle of the night, I don't have to worry about packing this. So it's gonna be really good to have. And then I also have a little list of things that I am missing that I'm gonna add in. So a Bluetooth speaker is one. I ordered a really cute one. I'll put a photo of it right here. Um, and I have a labor playlist. I did that last time with Jagger and it was a game changer. Just having like music that you can focus on that's either calming to you or just comfortable. Um, you can kind of focus on that and the lyrics while you're pushing. And then it was cool because I remembered what song Jagger was born to. It was Free Falling by John Mayer, which is one of my favorites. So it's just kind of a cool memory to have. Um, so I will I have like a Spotify playlist ready and I will have that speaker that's coming so I'll throw that in okay so that is what is in my bag so that is now all ready to go and now we're gonna head into the nursery and I'm gonna show you guys what I'm packing in Jovi's bag okay I'm now in the nursery this is actually still Jagger's room currently but I have a bunch of her stuff here in the closet um, and I have like a few decorative things that I've already gotten for her nursery but we're in the process of deciding when we're gonna like phase Jagger out because she's gonna be in our room in a bassinet for probably like at least two or three months so we might just keep Jagger in here till then um, I do have like a big boy room set up for him in the basement um, but he'll have to sleep in a big boy bed and we haven't even tackled that yet so I might just make that transition after the baby is ready to be in here when she's two or three months old and then we'll move him downstairs and that's when I'll do the nursery but it's like a little Paris French theme it's so cute so I'll do a video when I decorate that because it's going to be adorable um so I have the Hap brand diaper bag in blush pink I'm so excited I'm having a girl because I am such a girly girl and now I can buy the pink bags and all the cute clothes so this is definitely my favorite part um, I did have this diaper bag in blue with Jagger and I loved it because the material is really wipeable, it doesn't stain, and it has a lot of good pockets and storage. So I got the same one for her and it came with this little pink ball 
which is so cute. So I'll clip that on the outside. And then it comes with a duster bag, which is really nice. So um, you can keep it in there or it's just used for extra storage. And then it also comes with two little bags for inside and then also a changing pad. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna put in here is her little name plate. So it says the name, the date, the weight, and the height. So we'll fill that in after she's born for some photos. And I'm just gonna put that in the back pocket. There's like a little sleeve right there. It also comes with a strap in case you wanna strap it or you can use it as a backpack. Okay, so I'm gonna include some wipes in the bag. And then I know that the hospital will have diapers for her and other things for her after she's born. Um, but I'm just kind of like packing what I would normally put in a diaper bag just in case too. Um, so I have a lot of newborn diapers. Look how little these are. I just can't believe that I'm going to have a baby that small. It's so crazy. Um, but these are the Honest brand and that pattern's so cute. Um, so I have an Honest brand subscription for Jagger right now and I've had it since he was little and I love their diapers. So um, I wanted to use those again. So I just switched my subscription details over to um, what I need for her because we're now potty training Jagger so he's gonna be out of diapers which is crazy okay so then in one of these little baggies that the diaper bag comes with I just like to store things like um, diaper rash cream the little nose sucker nail clippers baby balm which is like a little lotion for her um, and that's usually what I do with my diaper bags is these little things are just for stuff like that. Okay, and then I have a little pair of fuzzy socks for her. And then I'm gonna bring two binkies just in case. You never know if your baby is gonna be a binky baby or not. Jagger definitely was, and I actually really loved it because it soothed him very well. So I'm gonna bring those just in case she is one. And then I have a couple of newborn onesies. So I just have this little one that's light pink and then this little one, it's so cute. It has like little flowers on it. Um, you never know like what your situation's gonna be. I had like all these clothes for Jagger and like, like a customized name thing and then he ended up going straight to the NICU for five days. So we never got to put him in an outfit in the hospital, but obviously you need to be prepared. So I'm bringing things just in case, hoping that that doesn't happen this time. So I've got those little onesies that we will use. And then I also have a few cute outfits for her. So this is the little outfit that matches the robe I showed you guys from Caden Lane. It's the same material, same waffle knit, same color. Um, and it's just one of those little sacks that ties at the bottom. And then there's a matching hat with it. And then also a matching bow, which is so cute. So I thought this would be cute if we take any photos in the hospital of us together. We could have our little matching outfit on. So I'm gonna take that for her. And then I also have another little newborn outfit. This one is from Lulu. They have the softest stuff. I love their stuff. Um, it's another just like little newborn sack. And I love these because they have the little, um, like it's like an open sleeve, but you can switch it to be a little mitten that goes over their hands, which is cute. And I love the tie ones when they're small because when you're changing their diaper, you just untie it or you can leave it open. And it's so easy to access their diaper that way rather than like unbuttoning or unzipping things. Um, and this color and print I thought was so cute. And then to go with that, I actually have little mittens that match it just in case we need these. And then a matching little head bow. And then I also have a newborn swaddle that matches that pattern as well. These are my favorite swaddles is the Lulu and Company. Um, the best swaddles ever. I love how stretchy they are. I will never use anything else. It's amazing. Um, I also have her little name. So this is another little newborn gown, same thing. And it says Jovi Piper on it because that is her name. So this will be really cute for announcing her name. Well, we've already announced it, but I guess announcing that she's here. And then I have a matching bow that says Jovi Piper on it as well. Um, and that's like the same color as my robe too. So that'll be really cute. So that will be what her photo is in. And then I also have a swaddle that says Jovi Piper. And then I have another swaddle that says Jojo. So I got all three of those swaddles ready to go. And then I probably won't need this many outfits, but I just thought it would be good to have options. This one's Copper Pearl. That's another brand I really love. The material is the same as the Lulu, so soft. So I just have this little knotted newborn gown and a matching hat to go with that. And then I also have a little newborn bottle. This is the brand 
spoon. I used these with Jagger and they have all different nipple sizes and cup sizes so you can get bigger as they get older and these are the best bottles ever. They have a silicone lining and they're really easy to clean which is great so I'm going to bring one of these for her. Okay, and then I'm also just bringing one of her soft fuzzy blankets I got from my shower. It's a Sarah Noni, and I thought this would be nice for me to have and also um, for her if she needs it, but we do have the swaddles. But just having like a nice soft blanket is really, really great, especially in a hospital. And then I'm also gonna pack her car seat cover. Um, I think this is copper pearl as well. It's the same material as those swaddles, which is really nice. Um, and it's just super stretchy and comfortable. So I will put this over her car seat. Um, her car seat is in our garage. So whenever we go to the hospital, we'll just grab it from there. We got the Duna. Love it. Totally recommend it. And we'll just throw this over. So, okay. I forgot to add that I also ordered shower shoes from Amazon. I'll insert a photo of those here and I will add those to my bag as well when they come in. Um, but that's it for my hospital bag and baby bag tour. If there was anything I missed that you felt like was a must have for the hospital, please let me know in the comments below so I can add it and share with you guys. So, all right. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you would like more motherhood content, let me know, or just what types of videos you would like to see in general, please comment below. I hope you guys have a great day and thanks for watching.